Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this really simple infographic in Word. So let's open a new document and the first thing we need to do is change this page round to landscape. So go to layout, go to orientation, click on the drop down and select landscape. And the first thing we'll do is create the first infographic and then we'll copy and paste it to make this process really quick and simple. So go to insert, go to shapes, click on the drop down and select circle and then holding down your shift key click and draw out a circle if you don't hold down your shift key it won't be a perfect circle so roughly around about 5.7 to 6 centimeters and that will allow you to have five circles across the page if you want more circles you reduce the size of them and less circles you can increase the size once we've got this circle inserted it will come with a borderline and a fill color now in order to see the white fill color we'll have to put a shadow on it or change the background color so we'll put a shadow on it so select your circle go to shape format go to this icon here that says shape outline and select white go back to outline select weight and go down to six now you can't see what's happening here but if i go to design go to page color and select gray you can see we've got this white outline around our circle Go back to shape format and in shape fill click on the drop down and you can select any color of your choice i've got some recent colors here and they were made up by going to more fill colors and then i simply move my cursor around my color wheel to select those colors the color of your choice will be here and just click ok so i'm just going to go and select my first color and then i need to put a shadow on this circle so select it Go to shape format go over to format pane go to the effects icon here click on shadow go to presets and pick one of your choice it doesn't matter which one and you'll see we've now got a shadow underneath the next item is some text so i'm going to go to insert text box click on the drop down and select draw text box and then i'm simply going to click and draw out a text box I'm going to insert my text in here. Now I'm just going to text, I'm just going to paste some text in because it's easier than typing it out. And what I've done is I've just put a title in here. I've centered it by using this icon here. And to take off this background and border line, just simply select it, go to shape format, go to the border line, click on the drop down and select no outline go to the shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. And then if you want to change the text color, simply click inside the text box. You can see your cursor is flashing. Select all the text, go to the home tab, go to font color and select white. Then if we want to make this perfectly lined up to the center, select the text box, hold down your command or control key on your keyboard and click the circle and they should both be selected. Go to shape format, go to align, click on the drop down and select align to center. And again, align, align to middle. And then just deselect and you can see your first circle. Now what we will do is add the arrow and then we will copy and paste them all. So go to insert, shapes, click on the drop down, scroll down and select this arrow. Just click and draw out an arrow. This can be as big or as small as you like. Once again, once it's selected, click on no outline, shape fill and select your original color. I'm now going to select this arrow, hold down my command or control key and select the circle. Go to align and select align to middle. And that will make sure that arrow is perfectly lined up into the middle of this circle. Once you're happy with the complete design, we're going to select everything. So select the arrow, hold down the command or control key, select the text and the circle, go to group and select group. And now this is all one element. You can ungroup it to make changes, so don't panic. So now we're going to select this group, hold down the Alt or Option key and click and drag out another one. And then again, two more, holding down that Alt or Option key, deselect, reselect one, and then copy and paste that one. Now we're just going to do a little bit of customization to make sure they all look perfect. So the first thing is to take this arrow off here. So select this group, go to group and select ungroup. 
click on the arrow and delete it, and then select the text, hold down the Alt or Option key, select the circle, go to Group and select Group again, and we want this circle to be at the very back and move all of these forward with the arrows. So I'm going to select this one, go to Send Backwards, click on the drop down and select Send to Back, and then this one is on top of that one, as you can see the arrow here, Select this one and we're going to go to Bring Forwards, select Bring to Front. Same with this one, Bring Forwards, Bring to Front and the same with that one, Bring Forwards, Bring to Front. Perfect. So now they're not aligned, we're going to make sure they're aligned perfectly. The trick is to place this group exactly where you want it, the distance you want it from the edge of your page. So I want it to be about here. Same with this one, then push it towards roughly where you want to be from the margin here. It doesn't have to be accurate because we're going to make sure they're all centered in the end. Then if you select everything by holding down that Alt or Option key, go to Align, click on the drop down and select Align to Middle. And then go to Align and go down to Distribute Horizontally. That will make sure they're all equally spaced apart. Once you've done that, you can deselect them and then we're going to customize these circles. We're going to change the colors and make sure you can see the text. So select this circle, go to group, and select ungroup, deselect it all, reselect the circle, go to shape fill and select your next color. Select the arrow and you've already selected the pink so just click on it and it will change. Now you can see my text here is slightly underneath this arrow. So what we can do is select the text and use our arrow key just to nudge that to the right slightly. Once you're happy, let's group everything again. Go to group and select group. And we'll do exactly the same to the next one. Ungroup, select the circle, shape fill, select a color, and again the arrow, and then select the text and move it over with your arrow key. And then once again, group everything together. I'm just going to do this final two and speed up the video. Okay, so now you're happy with everything. We can select all of the groups, again, holding down the command or control key. Go to group, select group, and then this is now all one group. And then what we can do with this is go to align and select align to center and it will be perfectly lined up to the center. Now, if you'd like to add the icons across the top, you can select your own, or you can simply go to insert icons. And over here, you can search for any icon you like. I'm just going to select some random icons and show you how you can insert them. So I'm going to select this clock here. I'm going to select this circle, select this head, select these hands, and select this icon. And then it says insert five and just click. Now you've got all five here. Then once it's selected, go to wrap text and select in front of text. That will just allow you to move it. Then go to your fill color. I've already got the color I want for this one. So just click and then you can move this one over. Again with this one, change the color to the color you want. You can see it won't move. Wrap text in front of text and then you can move it. Now if you want to, to be really accurate, you can take this group, go to shape format, ungroup, and then ungroup again, and then you can simply click on the circle, hold down the command or control key, click on your icon, go to align, align to center, and your icon will be perfectly lined up with your circle. If not, you can simply do it by eye. Now, if you see any of your icons look a little bit too big or small, you can change the size of them. So I'm gonna change this one to be a little bit smaller. Select it, go to graphics format, and go over to this height and width menu. Make sure it's checked here, and then you can simply reduce the size. So I'm gonna take this down to 2.3, and just reduce the size of that icon slightly. Make sure you're happy with its alignment to the circle. Once you are, hold down the command or control key and when your cursor changes to a cross, click on each icon. Make sure it's a cross first, otherwise it won't select it. Select them all, then go to align and select align to middle. And then they'll all be perfectly lined up to the top. Again, you can go to group and select group. And then across the bottom here, 
you can go ahead and select everything again and the icons, go to graphics format, select group and select group again, go to align and then align to center and that will be perfectly lined up in the center of your page. Once you're happy, you can also use your arrow keys to move them up or down, completely your choice. And if we want to go ahead and add the title, go to insert text box, draw text box, type in your title. Then if you want to customize the text, go to home, change the font color to dark gray, increase the size using this increase font size tool here. Select center, go to shape format, take off the borderline and take off the white fill color. Go to align, make sure it's perfectly aligned to the center, deselect. Then if you want some additional lines here, you can go to insert, shapes, click on the rectangle, click and draw out a rectangle. Go to shape fill, pick the same color, you can just extend it. Now for this one, I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag out another one. Now there is a border color on here, it's black. I'm just gonna take that off. You can see this one doesn't have a black borderline, this one does. I'm just gonna take that off by going to No Outline. Make sure the two are lined up, so select this one. Hold down your Command or Control key and select this one. Go to Align and select Align to Middle. If you want some text at the bottom, simply select this text box. Hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag so we can borrow this text box. And then once again, select the text. I'm gonna to go to the Home tab and I'm gonna click on the drop down and select 12. Then put my website in. Press the Tab key and then a random number. There we go. Now if you don't want these links, because you don't want it to turn the blue color, hover over this blue element here, click on the drop down and it says undo link and do that one here as well. There we go. And then I'm just going to move this down, go to shape format, align, align to center and then deselect. Now you can take the background color off, go to design, page color, no color. So there is your infographic. If you want a copy of this, there is a link in the description below. But I hope that's helped you. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.